Hi, it's Charity and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge. Challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to have 100 babies. Now we're doing this after Infants came out and we're also racing against another NPC family. In that family, the father died, but the mother got a new boyfriend and he moved in with her and she's currently pregnant with twins. So they're going to be up to 14. We have 13 and Baker is working on standing up, although I don't think that's going to happen right now. Doza is a little bit tired, so she's going to take a nap. I think we are trying to get her to level five. Yes, and we have thinking, imagination, potty, and a little bit of movement to go. Then we have Ven, who is working on his aspiration to be a creative genius and also needs to get his grades up in school. Dix is working on his A grade in high school. He needs to be a soulmate, but he's only going to need to do the first level of this aspiration. And then he needs to get a lifestyle and a whole bunch of other things done. He is nowhere near aging out. Nina is going to work on one of the Zen Guru steps, and she is also not ready to age up anytime soon. The one that may age up this episode is Octavian. So Octavian just needs his health food nut lifestyle and I believe he has everything else. Oh he does need to get promoted one more time at work but he has the check mark so that should actually happen on Monday morning. And then Paris is just hanging out working on her things too. Oh you need to go use the bathroom Paris. Now we also do daily quests here and some of these quests can kill our sim and some of them can earn us money or lose us money depending on whether or not we complete the quest. And today we have to befriend a fox. This is actually quite difficult. All right, maybe we'll do this after everyone goes to school and work. If you saw the last episode, you may notice that we only have 113,256 simoleons right now. And that is because last episode we had a quest that was to have everyone make a wish from the wishing well. And I did all of the teenagers in Paris, but I completely forgot about Ven. Ven was supposed to make a wish. So I have subtracted the simoleons that we won and actually subtracted the simoleons we were supposed to lose. So unfortunately, we don't have very much money. And I also spent some money putting some of the items in the hotel and making that a little bit better. Now we still have enough to move out Octavian, but this fox quest is going to be a problem. So we came to Hinford on Bagley, but I don't see any foxes around. I've been looking for a little while and they're just not showing up. I see lots of bunnies, but no foxes. Oh, there's a fox. Okay, he did not like the book. I should have given him an egg. I forgot I had one. Yeah, Ring Ding Ding doesn't like me. Let's see if I can get a jump start on friendship with Corduroy. He liked that gift. No, he does not like my singing. I'm level 5 singing. It's not like I have terrible singing skill. That doesn't seem to work very well with the foxes though. Oh, we became friends. We actually befriended a fox. That is so shocking. It's hard to befriend them because they don't like to stick around. And also your socials tend to fail with them. Alright, let's gather up our stuff and then we can go home. Well, it's the end of the day and we get to spin the winning wheel. What percent will we get this time? Oh, it looks like about 59 or 60. 59 percent. And 59 percent of 113,406 is 66,910. For a total of 180,316. So now we have to roll for Monday. What quest are we going to do on Monday?
License a song for pipe organ. All right. Well, we have piano skill level 10 and we can already license a song for piano or was that violin? I forget. Oh, it's piano. Okay. So pipe organ. I think maybe we've practiced pipe organ before. Maybe. I don't remember. No, Paris has no pipe organ skill whatsoever. We are going to lose this. All right. Well, out of everyone, probably Paris can get it the easiest, but it's still going to be difficult because she is creatively gifted. But in order to raise your skill high enough to license a song and then actually write a song, it takes way too much time. I've tried to do this before. I think Octavian is finished with his fabrication. Yeah, because he doesn't need any more reward points. So we will get rid of the fabricator over here and try and squeeze in a pipe organ. I wonder if infants can pull to stand in a crib. I don't know. I know they can in real life, but I'm not sure about the Sims. Okay, the only thing that Baker needs to do is to stand up. And I think I've seen videos of infants standing up in the crib. So I think if I put Baker in the crib that he may learn to stand up by himself. I'm hoping that's possible. All right, time to practice pipe organ all night long and hopefully not wake anybody up. I tried to get Paris inspired, but unfortunately I only have the stargazing buff. Oh, I might have a postcard around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, you can't ask the baby to practice standing. Oh no, Paris has gone into labor. All right, Paris is having baby number 14. And it's a girl, and her name is going to be Ziv. Okay, I think I can have this crib in the, no, I cannot have the crib in the bassinets. I gotta move it a little bit. Okay, so Octavian got promoted and Paris, why did you stop playing? Okay, you're still plucking for inspiration. Oh, Octavian gained the health food nut lifestyle. All right, well, I'm going to let him go to high school because he he's hysterical right now. And yeah, he can go one more time to high school, but um, we can technically age him up. I'm going to wait until he gets home. And the reason for that is that I don't want him to die right away when I age him up. All right, we're currently level six of the pipe organ and it's 1030 a.m. So I think think you can start writing a song around level eight and you have to be level nine to license it. It's either seven or eight. I can't remember which. And Paris is just making her way up the ranks of pipe organ. She is getting kind of tired though, kind of hungry and a little bit smelly. Oh, I think totally forgot. I was wondering why my balance was zero simoleons. I actually put all of my money in this bank over here because I was going to try and see if Sims would steal from it because we had like 1.5 million simoleons and yep, that's what it is. Okay, and we're not even supposed to have that money. There should be nothing in here. So our bills were 23,409 simoleons. And I just couldn't figure out why. And it's like, oh, right. I put 1.5 million in the bank vault. Well, that is my bad. I'm going to have to take that out. Okay, I'll put some of our money in it that we currently have legitimately. <laughs> And then we'll see if this gets stolen from because we have sharing is carrying on and I think it should get stolen from, but I don't know if it will or not. Okay, we cannot write a song at level seven. Okay, level eight. Can we write a song? Yes, we can. All right, now I'm going to start writing the song and hopefully we get level nine and also can publish it by the time midnight rolls around. Oh, and you're enraged. Come on. I am never going to be able to 
age up Octavian. You went to school hysterical and you came home enraged from a mood swing. Well, calm yourself down, Octavian. And Octavian is hysterical again. Okay, I don't think I'm going to make this. It's like 75% of the way there, but she's not going to make it before midnight. She's getting kind of tired, but I don't think that's the problem. I think the problem is finishing this. Oh, we finished a song. Okay, we're going to call it Haunting Lament, but really, I don't care what it's called. Just hopefully we can license it. Oh yeah, I think we can. All right, license your song, Paris. Then you go take care of the babies. And there we are, 11 p.m. I can't believe she actually was able to pull that off. Okay, how much are we going to get for this pipe organ license? And how much would we have lost? Oh, it doesn't look like so bad. 34%. Now, when we get more than 100,000 simoleons, I'm going to store it here in this vault just so that we pay taxes on it. And also, if for some reason we get stolen from, I am just so curious if they can do it when it's locked. I'm not sure if they can or not. I know you can try to break in, but I don't know if Sims can just randomly take money from it. So 34% of 154,859 is 52,652 for a total of 107,511. Now we have to roll for Tuesday. What quest are we going to do today? Befriend a rabbit. Did we do this? No, we did a bird. That's right. Okay, so we, we befriended the birds. Now we have to befriend a rabbit. Oh, these befriending ones are sometimes easy and sometimes not so easy. Happy birthday, Octavian. Okay, and Octavian is going to be a loner. He is also a dog lover and vegetarian. And then for his adult aspiration category, He's going to have a family aspiration. And Octavian is valedictorian. He completed the mental aspiration as a child. He earns good manners as a teenager. He has the reward traits, seldom sleepy, great storyteller, and observant. He is a level three of the video game streamer career and he has a fear of failing after school activities he is a health food nut for his lifestyle and he did the first step of the master maker aspiration we'll go ahead and change that and so he is ready to leave and take 20,000 simoleons with him and he's also bi Okay, we'll go ahead and get Paris up because we need to actually make good friends with Ziv. Okay, she's good friends. Now we can age her up. Unfortunately, we're going to have two infants for a little while. And happy birthday, Ziv! Okay, we're going to try to stand up. Hopefully Paris can do that out here. Oh, don't tell me you want to go to sleep, Baker. It's not time to sleep. It's time to stand up. You've been putting this off too long. Oh, he can actually stand up on the stool. I was hoping that they could stand up on that because that tends to not get stolen for some reason. Come on, stand up and then I can age you up and you can sleep all you want. And Baker is standing up. All right, now let's age you up. Oh no, Paris is hysterical. Come on, Paris, don't die on me. You gotta have one more baby. Oh, Happy birthday, boy. Baker. Okay, Baker got thinking to and movement to and also top-notch infant. And Baker is going to be silly. So there is little Baker. Okay, this time, as soon as I spawned in, I saw a fox, but no rabbits. At least with the rabbits, you can try to lure them out of the wild rabbit homes. 
With the foxes, you just have to wait for them to appear. While we're here, we should try to look for another baby daddy. I don't think the creature keeper is usually married. Let's check, though. Um, okay, no, he didn't like that for some reason. Oh, he is married. That's interesting. Normally, they're not married. Okay, that's why he didn't like my flirting. Okay, we will ask him to be just friends. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Oh, there's a rabbit. Yay! Now, don't cloud gaze. Talk to the bunny. And, of course, it happens to be an elder rabbit. Oh, and he didn't like the fruit? Well, you're difficult. Okay, he let me pet him, even though he has a slight negative relationship with me. This is not going well at all. Okay, he didn't like the flower either. Although I can give him more than one gift. Oh, he didn't like that, though. I need to find something that he likes. I thought that you were only allowed to give them one gift, but for some reason it's it's letting me give them several gifts. Maybe because I can't find one he likes? Okay, now it won't let me give him another gift. No, I don't want to talk to you. Go away, creature keeper. I'm chatting with the rabbit. Okay, we befriended the rabbit. Now we can go home. Thank you, little bunny, for being my friend. All right, time to find the next baby daddy. I don't know if Jacob is a werewolf or not. Hopefully he's not. He doesn't seem to like me, though. Okay, do we just have bad compatibility or something? Yeah, we have awful compatibility. That's why he's not interested. Okay, well, on to the next. Well, it looks... Oh, Mark Munch? Um... Okay, Mark Munch is part of the Munch family. I didn't realize that this was Mark Munch. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we're not technically related. Maybe through marriage. Um, because what I have found out is that the current Munch heir's boyfriend is one of Paris's dad's other children. So basically, Paris's half-brother. But that person is not Mark's relative, except by law. Well, actually, not even by law yet. They're not married. They're just boyfriend and girlfriend. But for some reason, they had a kid together anyway. Well, apparently, that's not the first Munch that Paris has had a baby with. Uh, Matthias Munch was... Trinity's father. So her first and her last was a munch because I don't think she's going to have time for another one. She has five days until she ages up. And so this baby will take probably three days and then she will only have two days left. I don't know if we'll be able to fit another one in because Nina will have to age up. And I guess technically, yes, we could fit one more in. If Nina ages up and moves out, then Paris is able to get pregnant before she becomes an elder, then she can still carry that baby to term and that will become her last baby. So either 15 or 16 will be the limit for Paris. Now she could have multiples if we could also get Dix to move out. But I don't think that'll happen. I mean, they, Nina and Dix both have a lot of work. And then, of course, Ven is not even a teenager yet. So we have to start concentrating on them now that Paris has a child and the house is full again. So Ziv needs to get to a toddler before we have this baby. And she has no milestones. Well, it's just in time for Paris to be pregnant again because she's hysterical. We don't want her to die. All right, what percentage are we going to win this time? We're spinning the winning wheel. 
and we're going to get 78%. Still no sign of anybody trying to break into this vault. So we do have 188,187 and 78% of that is 146,786 for a total of 234,973. So what quest are we going to do on Wednesday? So this will be quest number four. Go to a museum with the family for the day. Swipe an item without getting caught. Now, in order to do this, we have to have the klepto trait, but we are working with the sharing is caring neighborhood action plan. So I am going to say that we can use that neighborhood action plan in the museum neighborhood. So I will have to go and set that. Happy birthday, Doza. Okay, so Doza is going to be a loner. And we're going to spin for the aspiration for a child. And it looks like Playtime Captain. Doza is going to be working on the Playtime Captain aspiration. And then we need to get a character trait for Doza. So we have to start working on this as a child sometimes. And it looks like it's going to be emotional control. And then for her reward category based on needs, she is going to be independent. And then her other reward traits, we pick two. The first one is going to be waterproof. Yes, waterproof. And then the next one will be Morning Sam. And then Doza's job, either as a child or a teen, is going to be a football player. Yes, she's going to join the football team. And then there's one fear that needs to be assigned and never removed and a fear of a dead-end job that's just like Paris okay and then the lifestyle that we actually need to earn without cheats is going to be adrenaline seeker oh she's going to be very active so adrenaline seeker it is and we'll go ahead and pick an aspiration for when she ages up to teenager this just makes it a little bit more in character oh are we gonna have our first teenager aspiration we are she's gonna be a drama llama so because she gets the drama llama she has to do another role for her adult aspiration and then i just removed all the teen aspirations so this should also give us the aspiration category that she's going to have as an adult cure seeker Oh, so she's actually going to be a werewolf searching for the cure. But she's going to have to stay a werewolf or become a werewolf if she's not currently a werewolf when she ages up to teenager. Because she first has to be a werewolf in order to search for the cure. All right, and I did something a little bit different for the rest of the roles. I kind of combined some of them and there's duplicates on this wheel because that represents the probability of having glasses or hearing aids. So Doza is not going to have glasses or a hearing aid. And then we roll for the gender options. And no gender changes for Doza. And then for the sexual orientation, I also combined a whole bunch of stuff. So we are going to get heterosexual. Well, Doza is a werewolf, so we won't have to cure her. And we got likes white. Okay, so she doesn't have any dislikes for color. She likes ranch music dislikes funny sims, likes silly behavior, and likes dancing. Well, that's a contradiction.
All right, let's give her a little bit more white in her outfits. Okay, and there is her white inspired outfits. I mean, I did put a little bit of color on some of them, but they're mostly white. Okay, here we are at the Science and Fiction Museum. I got this off of the gallery. I'm sorry, I forget who made this. But why can I not steal picnic tables? I mean, they steal them from me all the time. We're here to try and take something. Uh, well, I guess I could take the picnic basket. I'm not sure if I need one, really. Oh, but I can take a pregnancy test here. That's nice. Okay, everyone steals something. Hopefully no one gets caught. And Paris is eating for two. Well, it looks like some of the things are just not reachable. And other things, I don't know. There's nothing here I really want. That's the problem. We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? Okay, so yeah, Clover, go ahead. Have a baby. All right, so Doza stole something. Ven stole something. Dick stole something. Nina took something. And Paris, what should you steal? I guess I'm going to take this since it is focusing decor. Okay, well, technically everyone stole something. And I think what I need to do is get Nina to unlock her frequent traveler lifestyle. And that's going to take some doing. Okay, one of the ways to get the frequent traveler lifestyle is to actually do things when you travel, like skiing, snowboarding, and rock climbing. Yeah, and hurting yourself. <laughs> okay, we get to spin the winning wheel for stealing things at the museum. And what percent are we going to get? 77%. And we have 300,000 in the vault, so 77% of 334,966 is 257,924. For a total of 292,830, well, actually 592,890. Okay, so we do have money in the vault, and I did leave it unlocked this time. And for some reason, I never see anybody come down here. I mean, supposedly Sims can take money from this. But I know that you can try and break in if you are not the Sim that closed and locked it. But I've never seen other Sims try to autonomously do that. Okay, what are we going to do on Thursday? We need the next quest. Succeeded an odd job. Well, that's not too hard. And there's an earthquake. Oh no, it's volcanic bombs. Alright, no fires, please. Alright, no fire. Oh. Well, no, I take that back. That might be a fire. No, it's just glowing hot. Oh, and there is another earthquake or volcanic bomb. They come often or they don't come at all. I did not know these gnomes could end up in my treehouse. Okay, Nina succeeded at her job. Paris is not back yet, but Dix did not join a job in time because it's actually Friday at 8 a.m. Okay, Paris succeeded at hers too, but we wanted everyone to do an odd job. Technically, I don't think I had to have everyone do it, but I think that's what makes it more challenging. And the reason why Dix didn't do his job earlier is because someone had to stay home that was at least a teenager so that the infant didn't get sent to daycare. I'm not allowed to use daycare. So we're going to spin the losing wheel. And how much are we going to lose? We have a lot of simoleons, so as long as it's not 
like 90%. Yeah, only half. That's fine. 51%. And 51% of 592,571 is 302,211. And of course, I'm going to have to take some money from the vault for that. And that'll be a total of 290,360. Now, what will the quest be for Friday? We have two more days left. Discover the secret nectar recipe and make a bottle for yourself. Well, this is interesting. Um, I think we've had this one before, but we did not succeed. So we even have a nectar maker over here. Yeah, I don't see us doing this one because she has no nectar making skill. And I thought that she had worked on it. I guess not. We'll start making some nectar, but I don't see this one going anywhere. Well, we were unable to get to nectar crafting level five. And even if we did, we don't have a death flower in order to make the nectar. And I think we've already met the nectar maker and learned the recipe, but it doesn't matter. We're going to have to spin the losing wheel this time. So we spin the losing wheel, and how much are we going to lose this time? Fifty-six percent. Well, that's not too bad. And fifty-six percent of two hundred ninety-one thousand three hundred and four is one hundred sixty-three thousand one hundred thirty. But whoops, um, I kind of forgot I have most of the money in the vault. So I have to go take some money out and our total will be 128174 All right, one more quest for the week. And what are we going to do today? Only make money through pet poop for a day. Must make at least 500 simoleons. Okay, we no longer have a pet, except for the horse, which I guess could count. Okay, unfortunately, I have royalties coming in, and I can't help that. So we're going to have to forego this quest and not make money. All right, well, we failed the last quest, and we got 37%. So we're only left with 80,000 simoleons. This is Charity. Thanks for watching.